get right. into it. Well, Netflix released a reel of its 2022 movie releases. That story kicking off today's trending stories. It's time for our Hot Topics brought to you by the Walton Arts Center. When I tell you this reel is packed. It's packed. I mean, so many movies, so many stars coming to Netflix in 2022. Ryan Gosling has a movie out, Jamie Foxx, J-Lo, Chris Hemsworth's right there. I saw Queen Latifah, Ludacris. Yep. I did see a movie with Ryan Gosling, Chris Evans, and Reggae, uh, Reggae John Page. Yes. They're all in a movie uh, together. Kerry Washington, Charlize Theron, I mean, whatever star you can possibly I know, think of. You name them, they're they on there. They are probably going to be in a Netflix film uh, this fall. So. Head over to our website. We'll have the link to the full super trailer in case you hadn't seen it. That's right. And from the best to the worst, each year the Razzie Awards are a satirical uh, annual ceremony that precedes its polar opposite, the Academy Awards. Okay. Now the Razzies have been around for four decades, and this year seems to be a little bit controversial as actors, directors, and casts who have been praised for their work by receiving Screen Actors Guild nominations are waking up to find they've also been nominated for Razzies. Nice. What? That's great. They're being <laughs> praised and ridiculed at the same time. Rude. Just I know. rude. Okay, well, one of them, one of my favorites, Jared Leto, <laughs> earned a yes. uh, SAG nomination along with Lady Gaga for their roles in House of Gucci, also earning a Razzie uh, for their performance. One of them is Worst Couple, which I didn't know was a category. Yeah, who knew? And he's also being nominated for Worst Supporting Actor. The nerve. The nerve of those people. I know. Ben Affleck, another one, he was cited with Worst Actor nomination for his role as French Baron Count Pierre in The Last Duel. Now, Ben Affleck is also a potential Academy Award contender for his role in director George Clooney's Tender Bar. Okay. I gotta say, I just saw The Last Duel, and he was my favorite part of the movie. <laughs> so, man, I don't know. I don't know where their, where their meter is, but... Uh, it's, it's, it's different from me. Yeah. Finally, after making $162 million worldwide and earning a poor 25% critical score on Rotten Tomatoes, LeBron James' Space Jam My New Legacy has four Razzie knobs, including Worst Movie and for James as Worst Actor. This is rough. I mean, I did see a little bit of Space Jam. I thought LeBron was great. I thought he was fun. It was a me. fun movie. If you're interested in hearing about the rest of the Razzies, we do have a link over on our website so you can see all the very rude nominations. I know, right? He's the <laughs> GOAT. How dare you?